There is growing concern among Western nations regarding the stance taken by African nations in the ongoing israel hamas war. South Africa's decision to take Israel to the International Court of Justice ICJ, has been followed by Namibia, which has also raised objections on Germany's opinion on the matter. Germany, although not a party to the case, declared Israel innocent without presenting any evidence or counterargument, leading to a backlash from Namibia. The country, which has faced scrutiny from Western powers in the past, is now taking a stand to speak up for those who cannot. Namibia's dissatisfaction with Germany's stance appears to stem from its own experience of brutality from Western powers. As a result, the country is determined to make its voice heard, even if it means challenging Western nations that consider themselves superior. The situation highlights the growing tension between African nations and Western powers on the global stage. Namibia's reaction to Germany's sudden support of Israel has caused a stir in the international community. While some may view Germany's actions as a show of support for Israel, Namibia argues that there's more to the story. The crux of the issue lies in South Africa's accusation of genocide against Israel. Namibia feels that Germany has taken the wrong side in this contentious debate, and that they should have been more cautious given the sensitivity of the situation. Instead, Namibia believes that Germany has thrown diplomacy out the window and added fuel to the already fiery debate. So, why did Germany decide to intervene in this matter at the International Court of Justice ICJ? According to Stefan Hebestreit, the federal government spokesman for Germany, their intervention was a strategic move to play the third-party card in the heated drama between Israel and South Africa. Germany's actions have raised questions about their motivations and alliances in the international community. Namibia's reaction serves as a reminder that diplomatic interventions can have far-reaching consequences, and that caution should be exercised when navigating sensitive political issues. Well, there is a compelling plot twist in this intricate geopolitical landscape. South Africa, known for its strong stance on human rights, took a bold step by accusing Israel of committing acts that transcend mere rhetoric. They pointed fingers directly at Israel, leveling the weighty accusation of genocide, the most dreaded of offenses. This accusation unfolded amidst a backdrop of historical conflicts and attempts at reconciliation, where Germany, a country with its own complex history, saw an opportunity to exercise its diplomatic powers. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that Germany, in this scenario, does not play the leading role, but rather assumes the position of a third party. The motivations behind South Africa's decision to target Israel go beyond a mere act of finger-pointing. It delves into the realm of complex international relations, where South Africa, driven by its commitment to human rights, sought to hold Israel accountable for its actions. South Africa did not shy away from accusing Israel of crossing the boundaries and committing acts that unequivocally fall under the ominous umbrella of genocide. Amidst this verbal battleground, Germany intervened, not with the intention of taking sides, but rather to further complicate matters. Its intervention at the International Court of Justice ICJ, was perceived as a strategic diplomatic maneuver aimed at maintaining a delicate balance. However, in doing so, Germany inadvertently added fuel to the already raging flames. On the surface, Germany appeared to ensure that accusations and counter-accusations were dealt with fairly and justly. Yet its decision to back Israel has raised eyebrows and ignited speculation as to its underlying motives. One possible explanation for Germany's alignment with Israel lies in the realm of international politics, where alliances play a pivotal role. Germany may have succumbed to the pressure exerted by the broader Western bloc, opting to align itself with the prevailing stance on Israel. Another aspect to consider is the fear of a potential domino effect. South Africa's vocal support for Palestine could potentially trigger a chain reaction, leading more nations to rally behind the pro-Palestine stance. In an effort to prevent such a shift, Germany may have strategically chosen to stand with Israel, aiming to maintain a delicate balance on the geopolitical stage. Notably, Hamas, a Palestinian resistance group, has urged Germany to reconsider its support for Israel in the ICJ genocide case. This appeal extends beyond a local plea, reflecting the broader international impact of Germany's involvement and the significance it holds in shaping the geopolitical landscape. 
In light of Germany's support for Israel, Namibia, another key player in this dynamic narrative, has publicly condemned Germany's decision. Namibia, presumably drawing from its own historical experiences, has taken a firm stand against Germany's unwavering support for Israel. The issue at hand is Germany's decision to back Israel, which has caused a considerable amount of discontent among the international community. Namibia, in particular, has been vocal about its objection to Germany's stance, citing historical baggage that stems from Germany's past as a colonial power in Namibia. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Housing has also joined in the criticism of Germany's intervention, calling it a shocking abdication of responsibility. This criticism has been echoed by many in Namibia, where people are questioning Germany's motivations and commitment to addressing past wrongs. The frustration on the ground in Namibia is deep-seated, with many wondering whether Germany is merely playing politics on the global stage. The heart of Namibia's critique lies in the moral and ethical implications of Germany's decision. Namibia's stance is not an isolated criticism, and it seems the international community is not sugarcoating words when expressing their discontent with Germany's position. The call for Germany to reassess its priorities is not just a finger-pointing exercise, but a plea to take a more responsible and ethical approach to global politics. Namibia, a country that has experienced the devastating impacts of colonialism, has a deep understanding of the plight of the Palestinian people. The nation's empathy for the struggles faced by the Palestinians forms the foundation of its principled stance on international issues. From Namibia's perspective, Germany's decision to align itself with Israel appears to be driven primarily by a desire for Western praise and validation, rather than a genuine concern for justice or human rights. This perceived motivation, which is detached from the moral and ethical considerations that Namibia prioritizes, is what fuels the nation's anger and disappointment. Namibia sees Germany's choice as a deviation from the principles of justice and morality that should guide international relations. Rather than standing with a nation that has historical ties to oppression and dispossession, Namibia asserts that Germany has opted for a path that undermines the ethical foundations of international relations. For Namibia, the decision to stand with Palestine is not just a political move, but a principled stand against a reversal in moral judgment on Germany's part. The African nation views this alignment as a betrayal of the shared commitment to human rights and justice that should govern international relations. Namibia believes that standing with Palestine is essential to upholding the principles of justice, equality, and human rights, which are the pillars of a just and equitable world. Namibia is expressing a deeper concern about the core principles and ideals that should guide diplomatic decisions on the global stage. It believes that moral and ethical considerations should be given significant weight in shaping relationships between nations. Namibia is criticizing Germany's recent choice, with the aim of challenging it to re-examine its priorities and motivations in an increasingly complex geopolitical environment. Namibia's censure of Germany's decision is more than a mere emotional display. It represents a matter of principle objection to what Namibia perceives as a compromise of fundamental values of justice, human rights, and international law. In unambiguously aligning itself with Palestine over this issue and publicly dissenting from Germany's stance, Namibia seeks to send a clear and forceful message regarding the enduring importance of ethics and morality in global politics and diplomacy. However, questions have been raised regarding the justification of Namibia's criticism of both Israel and Germany. While over 50 nations, mostly from the Arab world and Africa, have openly supported South Africa's filing of a genocide case against Israel at the International Court of Justice, accusing it of violating international law in its handling of the conflict with Gaza, other powerful nations have staked out opposing positions. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Pakistan, Morocco, and Malaysia, comprising the 57-member Organization of Islamic Cooperation, have rallied behind South Africa in endorsing the genocide allegations. However, the United States, a staunch Israeli ally, has vehemently rejected the accusations, deeming them entirely unfounded. Similarly, the United Kingdom has characterized the allegations as unjustified, siding against South Africa. 
Germany, too, has explicitly denied the charges, marking a sharp divergence from the perspective adopted by over 50 other states. Notably, China and Russia have also sided with Palestine on this issue. Turkey has emerged as the sole European nation openly backing South Africa's allegations of genocide against Israel at the International Court of Justice. Most other supporters have come from Arab and African countries. The global reaction has underlined deep divisions over this contentious issue. No Western state has endorsed South Africa's case, with the EU remaining silent as a bloc. Germany and the UK have explicitly rejected the charges, in contrast to Turkey and over 50 other backers. Namibia's criticism of both Israel and Germany is seen by some as justified, given moral qualms over actions in Palestine and the lack of consideration for international law. Others argue Germany was within its rights to abstain from the UN vote. So where does this leave relations between Namibia and Germany? In an exclusive interview, Namibia's UN envoy told the BBC his country will not compromise on fundamental principles. He questioned whether Western allies should give Israel unqualified support without addressing human rights concerns. Reactions online have been mixed. Many Namibians express solidarity with Palestine and support for their government's stance. But German observers counter that relations must consider strategic and economic ties, not just moral posturing. Further developments could test the strength of Namibia and Germany's partnership. Only time will tell if disagreements over Israel-Palestine derail broader cooperation. For now, the divisions laid bare again emphasize how polarizing this decades-old conflict remains, with resolution still distant. More on this story as it develops. Thanks for watching and join us next time.